folks, and welcome to Subjective Thoughts. And our graphic novel for today is Did You Hear What Eddie Game Done? Now there is murder, blood, cannibalism, removing skin, corpses, uh, digging graves, and uh, shooting in this one. So if you are in any way squeamish, you have been warned. Oh so, spoilers. Alright, uh, this was written by Harold uh, Sketcher and illustrated by Eric Powell. And the publisher is... Um, wait. Uh, Albatross... Yeah, Albatross Funny Books. Um, never heard of this publisher before. Alright, so those are the details. Now this is a, another one in my uh, unofficial series of books or graphic novels or comics I started a long time ago and finally finished. I started reading this according to Goodreads last year in, I think it was April. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, well, I uh, finally finished this. I learned about this graphic novel from Mr. Castle. He, um, he was originally a Kickstarter. He supported it and uh, showed his copy. And I got this from... I think... I'm, I'm pretty sure I got this off Book Depository when they were uh, still uh, still around. It, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I, I got a copy. It seemed very interesting. I haven't heard of Ed Gain before that. Uh, sorry, Eddie Gain before that. Although, granted, I don't live in America, so that's probably why. So surprising I never did, considering how much he, uh, well, his actions, I should say, uh, influenced uh, a lot of things in pop culture and such. So Eddie Gade is, uh, was a murderer. Uh, you say serial, then I was, he is a murderer. Uh, he murdered uh, two women and dug up a lot of uh, graves and took out the corpses and uh, to made things out of the skin and had a, you know, they made uh, skin suits and everything, <laughs> quite gruesome stuff, especially for back then. I feel like today, after all this happened and all this has been seen, uh, and I mean, it's still gross and shocking, but... I feel like I probably wasn't as uh, affected about learning uh, about it all as the people were back then. Because it was uh, 1957 after all, so <laughs> imagine that. Especially in such a small town as, uh, as he lived in. So this is a graphic novel about uh, Ed Gay. Tells about uh, his uh, childhood and later life, and uh, what happened to his family, and then the murders. Now, as it says inside, right, at the end of the graphic novel, it is dramatized. There are some uh, characters that were created. But it, uh, the, the Mr. Sketcher read a lot about Ed Gain, so a lot of the information here is factual. It's a very, it was a really interesting uh, way to learn about uh, Eddie Gain, uh, to see into, into his life and the uh, stuff he did. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty gruesome, and the illustrations here are fantastic to, to show you that as well. Some of them a bit too graphic. <laughs> well, not, I mean, I don't see it as too graphic, but yeah, if you open them, it's a, a very good... Uh, a good depiction. I'd be a bit too much for some people. I had I found the read very interesting. It took me a while to, to to get into it. I don't think it was because of the subject matter. I've read about a murder before. Granted, more far more fictional murder, but still. Yes, what the Eddie Gain done? The murders, the stuff he made that were found in his house. Influenced, uh, he influenced a young writer, the, the writer who wrote Psycho. And you know, there's the movie. And then the t Texas uh, ch Chainsaw... What's the title? The, yeah, the movie, Chains, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
the character Letterface, and then uh, Buffalo Bill as well in the Silence of the Lambs. So yeah, that of course, and Psycho in the movie. And, uh, sorry, I already said that. Yes, it's, it's amazing how those murders uh, really influenced a lot of uh, cultural. Uh, and I, yes, so, you know, in the, in the fiction culture and everything, how many stories and movies it inspired. How the image of Ed Gain uh, stands behind it all. I mean, shit, but especially for the time. Of, I know what I imagined how those poor policemen went into his house, you know, discovered it all. <laughs> Uh, that that must have been brutal, especially again for a small town. They probably never witnessed anything like that. That must have been some shit. But if you know what's written here is true, and all the the stuff with his mother, it's uh, it's quite easy to see how he, uh, you know, eventually ended up like this. As I read this, I did wonder if uh, if Ed Gain. If any game became uh, an orphan, let's say, would he have turned out a lot better? Or would he still have those, uh, you know, weird tendencies? As there's, uh, in the people of the, the town, cause they, a lot of the stuff is from interviews, they did say that he was strange. So I wonder if with more, you know, for actually normal parents, would he have turned out a lot better? Maybe it would have been a little bit socially awkward, but perhaps he would have been a functioning member of society and wouldn't dig up graves of I me. Mean, and the necrophilia. Let's say it started in necrophilia. So yeah, that, that, that was that was some shit. It actually even starts with uh or actually that was later, um a quote from a Hitchcock interview. Cause after the film Psycho uh some uh, some killer at the time said that because of the movie he went and murdered a woman. Yeah, yeah this has had a lot of uh, a lot of interesting information. Again, the, the illustrations were great. I'll show you some now. I won't show the whole thing, obviously. Since this isn't that old as well. Yeah. And... And there's nothing for me to show you under the dust jacket here because it's it's the same, it's the exact same image. Uh, that's on the uh, on the dust jacket. I really hate dust jackets. Yeah, there's uh, there's the pattern inside. Oh, that's not interesting. And a table of contents. There's some interviews at the end of this as well. Uh, some thanks. All right, the okay. Yeah, it starts with the psycho. You see, I'll show you a few pages. You can't apply morality to insane persons. A quote uh, from Hitchcock. He is absolutely right. And there's about the whole, uh, you know, psycho, and how prudish the audience were back then, because. Uh, Hitchcock's movie had the first flushing toilet. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you want. Well, I guess there's some scenes where you'd see it. And this is the beginning where they're... This is later after they captured Gain because he said he dug up a lot of, uh... A lot of the remains that he had and they didn't believe him at first. But then they, um... Dug up this lady's grave and... Instead of her body, they found, you see, his uh, uh, crowbar over here. So that was quite, um, was quite something. I'll just show you this image and that's it. So this is uh, his mother. All right, she's drawn. Yeah, good art. My white complaint is, though, that uh, Mr. Powell, the way he drew some... Uh, when he drew the not complaint, just saying the, he, the way he drew children, he made them look like miniature old people, because the the way their faces are done. I saw a lot of people really blended together because they look quite similar. In some instances, in some panels, uh, I looked and I was like, "Wait, is that Ed, Eddie Gain?" Because it looked very similar. Eddie stood out because he has that one uh, kind of droopy eye. 
And then there's one reporter that's uh, fictional, by the way, but he's throughout the graphic novel, and I only recognized it because they gave him a distinctive nose. So I decided to give him a distinctive nose. So yeah, that was a, a bit, but uh, other than that, uh, this was a really good read. The very, the very disturbing one as well, you know, seeing the rituals. Again, this is dramatized, but still, the, you know, the stuff he made out of human skin uh, made me remember my uh, trip to Poland to see the camps and uh, how we were told about this one uh, Nazi, uh, someone in the, in the army and his wife, uh, she would t take off, you know, the skin of the prisoners and draw on it. And, uh, Jesus. Fucked up people. Really fucked up people. Oh yes, that's the well, that's what is, is told about here. I won't uh, describe the whole plot. Just want to talk about this. I think this is a good way to learn uh, something about uh, Ed Gain, Eddie Gain. Keep calling him Ed. Yeah, about Eddie Gain uh, in a you know in the form of a graphic novel. So there's not much to read. Again, do be warned, some of the images are a bit strong. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all I had to say about this one. I'm glad I finally finished it. And uh, it was worth it. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're interested in uh, any game, uh, I would recommend uh, giving this one a read. It's, uh, it's, it's very interesting, you know, if you want to... Again, keep in mind, uh, although the um, Harold uh, Sketcher did uh, research a lot for this, uh, you know, don't don't take everything in here. And still, if you're interested, I would uh, suggest uh, give this a read. If you're, uh, if you're interested about serial killers, uh, yeah, serial killers also give this a read. Uh, although, however, if you are squeamish, maybe maybe don't give this a read. Uh, yeah, and keep that in mind. All right, folks, so that is it. Um, let me know, have you read this one? Uh, this graphic novel, what did you think about it? Did you, did you find it interesting? Did you enjoy the read? Did you not? And that is it. Now remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye! <laughs>